So we've got everything kind of loose installed on the truck. We're gonna go ahead and bring the panels down, make sure they lock into position as we're unfolding it. And then we'll check our final fit. Looks like we're good there. So we can go ahead and lock everything down. There's a couple more steps and we'll be done. It's that easy. Okay, so the next step, now that we've got the tonneau adjusted and locked into place, we're happy with the way it fits, is there's a few little last uh, things that we need to do to finish up the project. The first one is they give you these uh, pre-cut uh, cab saver uh, strips that we're going to put along here so when then it's up, if it bounces off the cab or something, it's not going to affect the paint or anything. But before we put those on, always when you're using an adhesive, you want to make sure you have a good clean surface. So we're just going to use some all-purpose cleaner to wipe this area down and dry it just to make sure that we get good adhesion on the strips. And then we'll just uh, line them up where we think we want them. Obviously the biggest thing is to make one match up with the uh, third brake light there. So we'll peel the backing off, line it up where we want it. Down. Do that all the way across. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, and we'll be done with this back tonneau install, is we've got these two uh, wheat tubes where the channels may catch water. There's actually a catch down here that the tubes connect to and run down uh, to the bed drains. But the bed drains are smaller than this, so we're going to have to drill out the bed draining holes a little bit to make room for these tubes. Luckily, with a composite bed like in the Toyota trucks, it's very easy to uh, drill out. So now we've got the tube down in here. You look up under here, you'll see the drain connection up here. That's all there is to it. Keep a little slack in it in case it gets pulled. Just tuck it in the corner. You're good to go. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so that's all it is to get the back installed. Let's talk about some of the features that this tonneau has that others don't. First and foremost are the prop rods that uh, you see up here, totally adjustable. So we can loosen these up, pull that down. It's got a locking uh, clamp right there. Take the other side down. Now that just keeps it up. If you're gonna be running down the road with the tonneau totally up, it's not an issue because you have these prop rods in place. Keep it up and out of the way. Wind's not gonna buffet it around. Lock it into place on the first one. You can leave it there and run with it that way. You take it over to the next one. Let it lock in place, run it that way. Or you can unroll it all the way out. Lock it in at the bottom. See how well it seals up. Now something that's uh, unique to the back for the Toyota trucks is how low profile. They're one of the only tonneaus on the market that have this low profile ride, especially on the Toyota trucks. One of the great features about the backflip uh, F1 tonneau is the material that they use for their panels. A lot of guys who are doing a solid fold tonneau are using aluminum panels. On the back, they are actually using a fiberglass reinforced polymer, which is a, a special material that they've kind of formulated for their panels. Now on the underside, you get an aluminized piece, um, uh, but on the top you have that uh, fiberglass reinforced panel. So it's going to be much more stable in temperature changes, UV. It's got a, still has a, a high grade core material for insulation, uh, but it is going to stand up a lot better. It's not going to scuff, it's not going to fade. It's much lighter, it's much more stable. You, you have, if you look at the framing, it's all aircraft aluminum, uh, black powder coated framing for everything. So it's going to stand up to weather for years to come. Uh, you also have this full length uh, rubber seal or a hinge that goes in it instead of a fiberglass hinge which can tend to bind especially in a, a three-dimensional folding like this with this rubber seal you can see everything lay, lays nice and flat all the way through 
so you see you have a double hinge here so it's going to lay flat again and I can undo that one and again it's going to lay completely flat so they've really thought of uh, everything with the engineering of these again full length framing with an aircraft aluminum with that black powder coat so it's going to stand up to a beating and give you years of trouble free service one thing you're going to want to keep in mind when you have any tonneau with a gasket like this, this full length gasket on the back, is to remember if you've got the tonneau down and the tailgate down, all you need to do is shut the tailgate first and let that lay on top of it. Because with that gasket there, you could bind up that gasket if you try and shut the tailgate with the tonneau all the way closed. So it's as easy as lifting the tonneau and then letting it lock into place. Then you have this full seal along the tailgate going to give you a lot of weather people. So thanks for watching In the Garage with Total Truck Centers. As always in the description below you'll find all the part numbers and information about the backflip as well as a store locator link to the Total Truck Center website where you can find a local Total Truck Centers who can help you with a product like this or whatever you're looking for. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next episode.